hello everyone in this video we are going to see identification of cations so what do you mean by cations first of all so cations are the positive ions okay so we have different chemical test to show the presence of uh, cations uh, first of all in O level we have a limited uh, cations that we have to identify from which let's see the, that list so these are the eight cations that we have to uh, identify and uh, from these these are the cations of the transition elements and you know transition elements they are the elements which form colored compounds while the other ones they are not transition zinc is an exception uh, zinc is transition but it do not form the colored compounds uh, but the reason is out of scope of the O levels now let's see different tests so the test number one that we do is to mix the given compound in water and note the color of the solution so when we add water in the compound and note in the color of solution there are two possibilities that we can have either we can get a colorless solution or we can get a colored solution if the solution is colorless it means that there is no transition metal ions present while if the solution is colored you'll say that the transition metal ion present next test let's see test number two test number two is the addition of sodium hydroxide in the aqueous solution that we have just made in test number one uh, for the test number one we will add sodium hydroxide till a change is seen so what we will see actually there are different possibilities that we have when we add sodium hydroxide in the aqueous solution so actually what happens that the different cations which are present in the solution they react with hydroxide ions and they produce precipitates like if calcium ions are there present in the solution they will react to produce a precipitate of calcium hydroxide aluminum will react to form the aluminum hydroxide zinc hydroxide and so and so forth so these different hydroxides they have different colors and uh, they are insoluble in water except for the ammonium ions all of these hydroxides they are insoluble and uh, whenever you know an insoluble substance is formed it is formed uh, as precipitate that is an insoluble solid is produced and uh, we'll have different colors for that let's see those different colors so these are the different uh, colors of precipitates that we can get that is the either we get the white precipitate so if you get the white precipitate it will be due to the three cations that is the calcium ca2 plus it will be it can be aluminum 3 plus it can be zinc zn2 plus so they form white precipitate while the green precipitate they are because of the two cations that is it can be chromium or it can be fe2 plus red brown precipitate they are because of the presence of fe3 plus blue precipitate is due to the presence of uh, copper 2 plus and if there is no precipitate uh, we will see it later so uh, this is the first thing that when we add aqueous solution and uh, you see different colors of precipitate and this test we call this test as 2a now let's do the test 2b what we do in 2b that uh, in the same test tube in which we have added uh, aqueous solution and sodium hydroxide and we get different colors of these precipitates we will add excess sodium hydroxide in the same test tube in the same precipitates you can say so there are different possibilities for that as well uh, when we add excess sodium hydroxide let's see that so for the white precipitate either the precipitate may dissolve or precipitate remain insoluble so we are adding excess anyway so if the precipitate dissolve that means there are two cations may be present that one is the aluminum 3 plus and other is the zinc 2 plus so these two cations if they are present the white precipitate which were produced with NUH they will dissolve and we will get the clear solution once again 
and if the precipitate remain insoluble that means they do not dissolve and they remain intact it means that there is present calcium ion now let's see what happens with the green precipitate when we add uh, excess NUH so again there are two possibilities with excess NUH when added to green precipitate either the precipitate may get dissolved or the precipitate may remain insoluble if the precipitate dissolve and we get a green colored solution it means that uh, chromium ions they are present and if the precipitate remain as it is so we will have Fe2 plus now let's see what happens to the others one so both the red brown precipitate and the blue precipitate they remain insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide so that means we'll have Fe3 plus ions and uh, then we will have the copper 2 plus ions uh, now let's see what happens when there is no precipitate formed when sodium hydroxide is added in the solution so in this case we will heat the solution and uh, there will be a colorless gas formed and uh, if you take a, a red litmus paper in the test tube this red litmus will change into the blue and the gas is ammonia and this shows the presence of ammonium ion let's write this we have identified uh, almost all the cations but we are still unable to identify or the distinguish between the aluminum and the zinc ions so for that we have to do another test that is test number three let's do that so in the next test number three we will add in the aqueous solution aqueous ammonia till a change is seen so again we will have different colors of precipitates or no reaction let's see uh, how do we have the results in this case so we are getting similar results uh, either we can get white precipitate green precipitate red brown precipitate blue precipitate or there is again no precipitate so if we get white precipitate it is because of the two cations and uh, those are the aluminum and the zinc actually calcium in this case give no precipitate and again the ammonium NH4 1 plus so there is no reaction for these now the green precipitate is again because of the same cations that is the chromium 3 plus and Fe2 plus red brown is because of the iron 3 plus and blue precipitate is because of the copper 2 plus now what will happen that if you carry out the test number 3b in which we add excess aqueous ammonia in the same test tube in which these precipitates are present let's see the results so if the white precipitate they dissolve in excess ammonia it means that uh, we have got uh, the zinc 2 plus ion present and if the precipitate remain insoluble the white precipitate remain insoluble it means that we have the aluminum 3 plus ions so what happens with the uh, green precipitate actually the green precipitate they remain insoluble for both chromium and iron 2 plus similar thing happens with the red brown precipitate that these precipitate they remain insoluble and uh, it's because of Fe3 plus there is a difference in blue precipitate so when you add excess ammonia in the test tube containing the blue precipitate what will happen that the blue precipitate they will dissolve and we get a dark blue solution so if this thing happen we become sure for the presence of copper 2 plus ions so this is all about the identification of uh, cation there are three tests that we have performed so i hope that you have understood all this stuff you have to memorize these colors and uh, all these precipitates and uh, i hope that you will be able to solve the exam questions based upon this we will keep on learning some exciting concepts of chemistry in our videos till then goodbye